Welcome back. We're now headed into the five characteristics in the latter part of this group of ten. And what we're going to do is take a look at one called ethical and supportive behavior. And ethics plays such an important part in creating the well-living workplace. And I'm going to give you some ideas around that. But it's also this how to support one another when you're in the well-living workplace that has to play itself out on a daily basis. But let me just add a little bit more commentary to this. As people go about doing their great work, they do so through practicing organization values and support for one another's life purpose. And again, let's just unpack this in terms of ethics. Um, ethics is really about the values that are expressed about how we work with one another. So we share these ethical values. We could talk about morals up to our skin, ethics from our skin out. And there are ethics like caring and respect and trustworthiness and fairness and justice and community. These are ways that we value about being together and they apply very much within the organization as well. The, the organizational work that you're creating which we call the well-living workplace. Because if things are sort of going sideways on you then probably one of these ethical values is being compromised to some degree. And what you've got to do is get that back on track and that's when you use something like ethical decision making. And there are ways in which to go through steps to bring it back on track for yourself. So these ethics is pay really important attention to that. Uh, we talked a little bit this earlier around the organization mission, vision, and values. So again, if you haven't had a chance to write down what your values are around your organization, then I would encourage you to go back and do that or stop now and write them down and get them there for yourself because they'll give you some sense of the ethics that you're going to actually work from as well. Now, the other part to this is this ethical behavior, this supporting, is about in lining up with people's life purpose because each person comes into their work for a purpose. And if it's to, into a group of people that form a workplace, which is an organization, a business, and there's a group of you, then each person wants to fulfill their life purpose. Just like the solopreneur who's in their next 50 is looking about having a way in which to take care of their life purpose and to bring power to what it is that they do and to um, bring process to those things that they enjoy doing. So this ethical and, and uh, practical and support, this behavior that you're attempting to bring together in the well-living workplace is an important every day, each and every way, every day it's important. Along with this, um, this supportive ethical behavior, here is a really great tip for you to work with. One of the things you do is make a list of what's hindering you and what's helping you at work. Because what you want to do is, how do I reduce and eliminate what hinders and how do I convert and uh, support the growth of those things that help. Again, being able to get this list out and then connecting it to the supportive behavior that you want to set in motion and the ethics that you want to work from will create the well-living workplace. So those are some tips to work with under this one. So what we're going to do next is to move into what we call the culture of lifelong learning.